Good morning, Pete Scargill here. I'm trying several things at once here, but the point of this video is to show you the new TT Go displays that I received from Banggood. I'm trying several new things at once, including two Logitech cameras um, and OBS Studio, none of which I'm familiar with using together. However, in for a penny, in for a pound. It's freezing cold in Spain here, which is why I'm wearing a t-shirt. It's sunny, so outside it's as warm as toast, but in here in my office it's actually freezing cold. So the illusion of midsummer just disappears with the uh, the jacket. However, that's another matter. Um, TD Go Display. This is why I arrived this morning. I got two of these. Came in a standard post. And let me show you the actual display itself right now this display i fitted these connectors on the edge the two edge connectors you also get um, a little power lead as well but for demo a demo like this don't need it all you need is the usb c connector so the esp32 powered tt go there it is, three buttons. That will be programming button, reset button, and I have no idea what that one's for. If we just have a look at this on the camera as best as I can, you may or may not be familiar with the pins on the ESP32, kind of like an ESP8266, but more pins and Bluetooth, which I'm not using here. Uh, on the reverse side, the ESP32 itself, flash, and power supply, and not much else really, just a lot of passives. There's the connector for the power. However, for the purposes of this little demo, I'm taking a standard USB C lead that's plugged into a phone charger, and I'm going to attempt to show you this thing. What happens when you first turn it on? It comes up with TT Go. Looks a lot better than you see here. And then it goes through a sequence of colors. And that's about it. That's what you get for the standard demo, as far as I can tell. Tell you what, why don't I try pressing that button? It's just gone off. Oh, it's just rebooting again. There you go. TT Go. Hey, that looks quite good. I've uh, used an awful lot of black and white OLED displays, but I've never actually used a really neat full color one like this. The density of the colors here is really not going to show up in this video, but they're just beautiful. So I'm quite looking forward to playing with this. Um, all we're going to do this morning is I'm just showing you this. Um, then I intend to go away and stick Tazamora onto the... Um, onto the board. That's why I got two, because I have no idea what will happen when I put Tasmota on one of these. Having, I've used Tasmota many times, but not with one of these displays. I understand it will work a treat, but I thought I better have two just in case. Anyway, that's the basic TT Go display. It's really very pleasant. So this video isn't intended to run standalone, it's intended to run with the blog and I'll have far more information about the display on there eventually. Hope you enjoy this and the uh, blog itself.